Good morning to one and all. Today I Kusha Singh, assistant professor from social work department Uttarakhand Open University. Here I am here to talk about new education policies and social work. As we know, education is the most powerful tool for social change as it can transform society by providing new opportunities and experiences. The educational system of any society is related to its social system. It is a subsystem performing certain functions for an ongoing social system. As we know that modernization is a multi-dimensional process. So the modern societies are basically changing society. Yes. Thus in modern complex societies education not just perform the task of transmitting new knowledge uh, to the new generation it also performs several other societal cultural and technological changes as well indian society from being an ascribed authoritarian a fixed social interaction society which is uh, immobile and has gerontocracy right this society today being modern it inspires to be become a more a society which is democratic which has modernistic values with free social interaction and equalitarian social relationships so this is the change that we are able to see in our modern day society especially in india so today we will talk about new education policy and new education policy which was approved by the union cabinet of india uh, in july 2020 it is a transformative initiative aimed at revolutionizing the education system as the implementation of the nep progresses social workers have a significant role to play in ensuring its successful execution with every expertise with the expertise of social workers in community engagement in advocacy in counseling and support services social workers can contribute to creating an inclusive equitable and empowering educational environment not just for students but for all stakeholders School social workers provide services related to a person's social, emotional and life adjustment to school and society. School social workers are a link between home, school, community, right? Home, school and community in providing direct as well as indirect services to students, families and school personnel to promote and support students' academic as well as their social success. early childhood care and education so as we know that early childhood is considered as the foundation of learning it is the most important uh, phase of learning furthermore researchers have shown that the morning hours after a nutritious breakfast can be particularly productive for the student of cognitively more demanding subjects and hence these are may be leveraged by providing a simple but energizing breakfast in addition to midday meals children are unable to learn optimally when they are undernourished or unwell hence the nutrition and health not just physical but mental health of children will be addressed through these healthy meals as per new education policy uh, healthy meals are very important right so here the role of social workers comes into place the introduction of well trained social workers to address involvement into the schooling system will be will play an important role then curtailing dropout rates and ensuring universal access to education at all level as per the 75th round household survey by nsso national sample survey office in 2017 and 18 the number of out of school children in the age group of 6 to 17 years is 3.22 crore 3.22 crore it will be the top priority to bring these children back into the educational fold as early as possible and to prevent further students from dropping out with a goal to achieve 100 gross enrollment ratio in preschool to secondary level by 2030 counselors as well as well trained social workers connected to school complexes and teachers will continuously work with students and their parents and will travel through and engage with communities to ensure that the school age children are attending and learning in school so here we see that the role of social workers are very important because we have to engage with the society right so now we will talk about social workers with teachers the quality of teacher education recruitment deployment service conditions and empowerment of teachers is not where 
as it should be and consequently the quality and the motivation of teacher does not reach the desired standard the high respect for teachers and the high status of the teaching profession must be restored as it is to inspire the best to enter the teaching profession as we know that teachers are overly burdened the motivation and empowerment of teachers is required to ensure the best possible future for our children and for our nation as children are the future citizens of the nation the primary goal of overhauling the service environment and the culture to uh, culture of schools will be to maximize the ability of teachers to do their jobs effectively and to ensure that they are part of a vibrant caring and inclusive communities of teachers students parents principals and other support staff all of whom share a common goal to ensure that our children are learning school complexes could also share counselors trained social workers technical and maintenance staff etc to further support teachers you know as teachers are overly burdened with so many tasks so teachers also need help and the help uh, will create an effective learning environment effective collaboration between schools and families is crucial for student student success uh, social workers can facilitate strong school home partnership by providing parent education programs uh, by conducting home visits and organizing workshops to enhance uh, parental involvement as we know that school social workers uh, not just remain till schools they also reach out to the uh, home visits and to parent uh, parental involvement social workers can facilitate workshops and training sessions to enhance teachers understanding of student uh, social emotional well being uh, cultural sensitivity and trauma informed practices uh, so here we will talk about uh, equitable and inclusive education socio economically disadvantages group which is sedgs can be broadly categorized based on gender identities particularly female and transgender individuals uh, they can be further uh, broadly categorized by uh, socio cultural identities such as scheduled caste uh, scheduled tribes obcs and minorities uh, geographical identities such as students from villages rural india small towns and aspirational districts Uh, dis disabilities, including learning disabilities, uh, socio-economic conditions, socio-economic conditions such as migrant communities or low-income households, children who are in a vulnerable situation, the children who are victims of trafficking, orphans, or certain type of uh, assault, including child beggars in urban area and urban poor. So here we understand that social workers that work with and connect with students, parents, school, and teachers in order to improve attendance and learning outcomes have been found to be specially effective for children in urban poor areas changes to bring uh, bring an inclusive school environment uh, school curriculum is very important as we know modern societies have modern problems the school curriculum it has to change thus it will include early uh, material on human values such as respect for all persons empathy tolerance human rights gender equality uh, non violence global citizenship inclusion and equity it would also include more detailed knowledge of various cultures religions language gender identities etc to sensitize and develop respect for diversity any biases and stereotypes in school curriculum will be removed and more material will be included that is relevant and relatable to all communities thus here we see that there is a change in the curriculum and we cannot burden the teachers alone for this students have to be sensitized through this new culture new school culture brought in by teachers as well as trained social workers here the role of social workers play a very crucial role as it is not just the uh, role of teacher but also role of social workers then adult education and lifelong learning an educational program that concentrates on new generations only cannot affect major changes because the influence of adult world is too strong alone we can't blame the students or the children right we have to change the adult education system as well in developing societies adult education becomes a very important part since it is necessary 
that the values of childhood and youth is maintained and reinforced in adulthood as well role of social worker is to ensure that community members are participating in adult education uh, social workers traveling through their communities where they will be able to track and ensure participation of non enrolled students and dropouts as we have discussed in the previous slide uh, so during their travels uh, social workers will be able to responsible for the gathering data of parents adolescents and other interested adult education opportunities both as a learner and as well as teachers or tutors also social workers will then connect them with the local adult education centers that is aecs as we know that adult education is very important and since social workers are already working in the community they will be able to identify and then they, with this help they can connect them to adult education centers opportunities for adult education will also be widely publicized through advertisements through announcements and through events and initiative by ngos and other local organizations the curriculum uh, framework for adult education will include at least five types of program uh, which will be clearly defined outcomes uh, the curricular film fail work for uh, this uh, you know uh, with each uh, defined outcomes will be the foundational learning uh, literacy and numeracy uh, it will be critical life skills uh, that is including financial literacy digital literacy as we know digital literacy is very important these days commercial literacy commercial skills uh, health care and awareness child care and education and family welfare then vocational skills development with a view towards obtaining local employment uh, then basic education uh, that is uh, preparatory middle and secondary stage equivalency and continuing education uh, so in continuing education we will engage in holistic adult education courses in arts sciences technology culture sports recreational as well as other topics of interest or use to local learners such as more advanced material on critical life skills thus we have concluded all the topics of nep and the role of social workers in conclusion we can understand that nep 2020 is a flexible creative and a very productive um, change uh, there have been a lot of discussion recently on how the new education policy that was introduced in 2020 would force the existing english medium schools to shift their medium of instruction to local or uh, local or regional languages uh, there are many discussions still going on although the nep has uh, been formulated to enable children to get full advantage in the field of education many varied viewpoints concerns and criticism have come up on various aspects of policies social workers have immense opportunities in the implementation of new education policy with this i would like to uh, with, with this i would like to say that social workers have many opportunities uh, in the field of uh, education and school social workers especially today have a lot of opportunities as we engage not just with students we engage with teachers we engage with school personnel we engage with community and we also engage with parents thus school social workers uh play a very important role in the implementation of new education policy all the best